Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Final preparations underway tonight as the WIAA State Girls Basketball Tournament kicks off tomorrow. Marks the 10-year anniversary of the tournament moving to the Green Bay area in the Rush Center. Emily Riley now live at the Rush to tell us what's expected for the next few days and how it benefits the entire community. Emily. Cami Cruz here are busy crossing off the final items on their to-do list, like placing the tournament decal on the court today. 20 high school teams will compete in five divisions over the next three days. This year, there are six teams from our area hoping to win a gold ball. It's a lot of excitement in our office. Everybody's kind of running around like crazy and getting ready. We have, um, you know, I think we assign about 1,500 officials for the girls' tournament over the course of those five games in each division. The president and CEO of Discover Green Bay says people from all over the state will visit the area for some camaraderie and excitement this weekend. These kids have worked their whole life to get to this point and uh, will remember the experiences they have in our community for years to come. So uh, it's really quite an honor. Uh, to be the community that hosts this event. With more teams in our area competing, we may be expecting more fans here too. Local restaurants like Hagemeister Park in Green Bay say they're increasing staff to prepare for the expected crowds. Everybody wins. You know, when, when you get these people in town at the, at the convention center or at the hotel staying, you know, it's good money. Servers are happy. Um, everybody's making money and uh, it's good business. Tourism experts expect the tournament to bring in roughly $2 million to the local economy. Reporting live in Ashwaubenon, Emily Riley, Action 2 News.